A hot drink is what I need. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep.
There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about.
looks like the ticket to a locker. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. This angel on the ticket. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. Someone sent me that letter for a reason. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? I think I know where this ticket comes from. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. I couldn't have heard him. I love him. I love him with all my heart. But what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? There's no way back for me, if I've done anything to hurt Sean. What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something, but I just can't remember. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. I could go through the neighbor's garden and avoid all the press. I've got to go out. I'll go crazy if I stay in here.
Gonna... Gonna have to make it through. No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I can't go on. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Jason! Dad! Jason! Jason! I made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Line 18, box number 3.
Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. Well, that may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days but the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours.
No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. The angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? 
No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good what is a confession if he does? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find I gotta him stop straight, Blake. He's going too far. He needs more and more. That's enough. Leave him alone. No. No. You mustn't make Shit. Me. You'll Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just stand around and do you nothing. Find that kid in the Carter, park. Shit. The voices are you out of your mind? All night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? What's Blake looking for? Why is he pushing him over the edge? So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took the guy is terrified of Blake. He Isn't really thinks right? he's the Antichrist or something. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun I and shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, James. us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power! I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Gently put the gun down on the floor. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go.